Hello my fellow weirdos, my name is Romina Williams and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing a very fun tag. It is um, a new take on Shag, Marry, Kill, uh, that familiar game we've all played in bars before. Um, but this one is Necromancy, Cult and Sacrifice and I was tagged by the lovely Merced at Harpies in the Trees who created the tag. So let's see which characters I want to necromancy, cult and sacrifice. <laughs> As I said, for today's video, we're going to be doing a fun tag before I launch into the details. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to help hit that bell button so that you get a notification every time I post new content and you guys never miss out. And please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. It really helps me out with the little YouTube algorithm. But let's jump into today's video, shall we, and get on with today's scheduled programming. So, Merce from Harpies in the Trees. I love her and I love her channel. If you haven't seen her, go and check her out. She's amazingly super creepy horror, great for horror recommendations. She decided to do her own take on a video created originally by a channel called Books with Emily Fox, which is the whole sort of shag, marry, kill game, where you have a bunch of literary characters in an in a, the envelope, well, little piece of paper with their names on it, and you choose three people and decide out of those three characters that you've just randomly lifted which ones you're going to shag, which ones you're going to marry, and which ones you're going to kill. Merce from Harpies in the Trees, she did, did, decided to do a little horror twistette on it and um, I like that gesture and uh, instead of um, shag she went for necromancy because um, well what's more than romantic than taking a lover to a graveyard and helping raise the dead. Uh, instead of marry, cult, because in a way isn't marriage a bit of a cult. And then instead of kill, it's sacrifice, because nothing is more important than killing with a purpose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own version. Um, I'm going to do Merce's version with the necromancy, cult and sacrifice. And then I'm also going to do the shag, marry, kill, because um, I want to see if my answers change between those two variants. So I'll put the original videos, which is, as I said, books with Emily Fox for shag, marry, kill and Merce for harpies in the trees is the necromancy, cult, sacrifice. I'll put their original videos down below so you can go and check them out. So, uh, I have sort of done the same thing as her and included a load of specific horror characters in my list. I've tried to keep it to kind of well-known characters and then I've also included some characters from lesser known books but ones that I have reviewed recently in videos or recently done videos or um, featured on my Instagram. So they're ones that would be familiar to guys who follow me. So I've picked my first three here and I have it from the Stephen King novels and Christine from Stephen King novels and then finally Clarice Starling from Hannibal series. So for Shag, Marry, Kill I would have to say I would probably um, Shag Clarice Starling because she's hot. I would marry it because it would be kind of cool to be married to a big powerful evil god and I would kill Christine. But my answers definitely would change if we're going for the necromancy cult and sacrifice because Clarice would make a great sacrifice being a um, good, pure, nice woman. So it's traditional sort of sacrifices, it's like a lovely woman. So we're going to go Clarice for sacrifice, which leaves necromancy and cult. I think I'm going to go for it for a cult because he is a god after all and he would make a great kind of cult obsession for lots of people to sacrifice themselves for. Um, which means that I'm gonna be doing necromancy with Christine, which would be awkward in a graveyard, um, driving around with a big psycho car, but you know, we can make it work. We can make it work. Okay. <laughs> Next three. Okay, so I have The Governess from The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. I have The Reverend from The Fearing series which if you haven't seen my video of I'll put a little link up below you need to read that series it is so good oh and I also have Lady Catherine de Bourgh from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies so this is a good selection here all human which is helpful so okay we're gonna go for shag marry kill first I think I'm going to shag the reverend <laughs> mainly because I don't think I could kill a religious figure um and also there's something kind of cool about that, that you're um, corrupting a head of a church. Uh, I'm going to marry Lady Catherine de Bourgh because she's rich and she's really badass in Pride and Prejudice and Zombies with her like eye patch and 
she's just really kick-ass and cool zombie killer lady so she could protect me plus I've got all that money and then that means I guess I'm gonna have to kill the poor governess in Turn of the Screw um, depending on your interpretation of the book, I'm either killing a poor woman who got like haunted and faced tragedy through no fault of her own with ghosts, or a crazy lady. So, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll go with the crazy lady option and that way I won't feel bad. If we're going necromancy cult sacrifice, hmm, well then, <laughs> I think I'm going to sacrifice, I'm going to sacrifice the governess again. You know innocent young woman in this case virginal she would be the perfect sacrifice very traditional sacrifice uh necromancy and cult i'm going to go necromancy with lady catherine de Bourgh because she knows a lot about the undead and i'm going to start a cult with the reverend because he's already got like experience with being a religious figure so he would know how to set up a cool cult perfect okay three more oh, okay I've got Darcy from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies I have Luke Sanderson from The Haunting of Hill House he's the um, guy who's like inheriting Hill House he's the next in line to inherit it and then I've got Dracula I don't know why I felt like I had to do it in um, my best Transylvania accent but I did okay so shag marry kill Ugh, this is hard. Okay, I want to marry Dracula. I do. I want to be one of Dracula's cool undead brides. Plus, I feel like, you know, <laughs> any relationship with him is going to end in you either getting just flat out killed or becoming a vampire. And becoming a vampire seems like a better option. So I should have stuck with him forever there anyway. So I'll go for marry Dracula. I will go for shagging Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because, you know, Mr. Darcy's sexy um, and he's a pretty good warrior in that, um, which means that poor Luke Sanderson's getting killed sorry Luke, I mean I know you've got that big estate and everything, but your house is haunted so you just sort of got the short end of the stick there um, necromancy, cult and sacrifice I feel like Darcy's going to make the best sacrifice to be honest um, just because he's because he's like a nice guy, <laughs> this is so terrible, your sacrifice, you want them to be nice, you want them to be good, otherwise there's no point in sacrificing, there's no point in sacrificing a bad guy. What's the sacrifice? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Darcy. Luke isn't a bad guy either, but I feel like Darcy um, is just kind of like a nicer sort of, yes, he's got his pride problems and his prejudice problems and all that jazz, as the title suggests, but you know, he's he's a good guy, he's, he, he's rich and wealthy and would make an interesting Sacrifice plus, you know, you can sacrifice him by feeding him to all the zombies. Um, I'm going to do necromancy with uh, Luke Sanderson because he has a big haunted house anyway. So that's perfect. We can just go around Hill House and start, you know, annoying those ghosts and trying to raise the dead. Which means I'm in a cult with Dracula. Um, and I think Dracula would be quite a good person to be in a cult with. You know, he, he can create his own parishioners and followers very easily by just turning them into vampires so yeah this is all working out great <laughs> okay i'm gonna do one more okay we have annie from misery <laughs> uh we have mr jekyll and hyde they are a package deal after all and then we have adam from the fearing series again guys seriously go watch my video about the review of that series by John F.D. Taft and it is a fantastic horror series. So shag, marry, kill. <laughs> well you know what I'm sorry I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to kill Annie <laughs> from Misery because she is just flat out psychopath and I would rather <laughs> risk my life with the other two like supernatural beings than this psycho this flat out psycho so you're getting killed Annie um I'm going to I guess shag Adam from the fearing uh even though he's not a particularly nice character I don't want to marry him he is trying to bring about the end of the world after all um and that means I'm married to Jekyll and Hyde which means I'll have a happy relationship half of the time not so much the other half uh necromancy cult and sacrifice okay well Sacrifice is a bit of an issue because none of these guys are particularly nice. 
Um, I guess I'm going to sacrifice Jekyll and Hyde, um, and I'll have to wait until he's um, the, the good, good side, um, because then it will be a kind of sacrifice, you know. Obviously, half of him's evil, but half of him is still good and innocent. So I'll sacrifice him. Uh, necromancy and cult. I think I'm going to go necromancy with Adam because he, um, after all, is a kind of otherworldly, um, godlike kind of being, um, trying to bring about the end of the world and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, he, uh, he probably has on you know a way to get death on top. Well, he pretty much does. He can make death happen. Um, so I'm sure he can bring people back. In fact, in Jaws, in the book, sort of, he brings them. Um, zombies and vampires and all sorts of undead types of things back so he's probably the best person to necromancy with which means I'm making a cult with Annie and I think she would be perfect for a cult leader she's absolutely bat crap crazy and she um we could always do it to the misery character that she's obsessed with um who her beloved author decides to kill off so they could be our our god in our cult or whatever so yeah perfect guys this is easy as peasy so that's it that's my um <laughs> just a fun tag for you guys today um concentrating on horror characters if i'm not going to tag anybody in particular because it's just a very niche <laughs> it's a very niche uh sort of video tag um you know what i am i'm gonna tag some people you guys don't have to do it but yeah, and you don't have to do it this way. You could just do the traditional Shagmire kill. You could do the um, necromancy, cult and sacrifice. You could do both the way that I've done it. You know, mix it up, change it up, however you want to do it. Who will I tag? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so I am going to tag Michael Nip because he made the mistake of saying that no one ever tags him and now I tag him on a regular basis. I'm also going to tag Book Invasion because he fought, concentrates a lot on science fiction, so he could do a cool science fiction twist to this, I think. Um, and then I'm going to tag Brie Buonamo. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name there properly, um, because she has read a bit of horror and I think she could do it. She did my horror book tag, so I think she could probably possibly do the necromancy cult sacrifice side of things. So we'll see, guys. I'll put their links to their videos down below so you can check their channels out. Feel free to do it though, even if you haven't been tagged, because it's fun. It's uh, it's funny. I'm going to keep all my little pieces of paper in case I can use them for another tag in the future. Um, I'll have to have a wee think and see how I can. And I'm just going to add, I think, horror characters as I read books. But yeah, give it a go. It's fun. As I said before, please, please subscribe to my channel, guys. I cannot emphasize enough. Subscribe, hit the bell, give me a like, give me a comment, say hi, follow me here, follow me everywhere else. Let's be friends, okay? Because that's what this is all about. I want to make friends with more fellow weirdos. But that's for me now, bye. Okay.